Hello and welcome. I hope you are well and staying safe at home. My name is Amy and I am one of the facilitators of Minster Trust Community Theatre. I'll be showing you various creative ways you can get involved with our amazing new project, which is all about the Wizard of Oz. In this video, I'm really excited to get things started by looking at rainbows. Lots of people are making rainbows right now to put in their windows as a sign of hope and a sign of support for our NHS and all the key workers who are doing such a great job looking after us. If you haven't already, maybe you could make your own rainbow from anything you like. Take a picture of it and send it to us. We'd love to see them. I've got some ideas to show you about different ways you could go about making your rainbow, depending on what you've got at home. So I will get started. So to start with, I'm going to show you various ways you can use paint if you're lucky enough to have any with you. Um, that you can apply to different surfaces to get started with creating your own rainbow. So I've got a collection, a very small collection of paints here. So I'll hold those up for you. So I've got green, purple, blue, yellow and red. Basic colours, all you need. If you've got more, that's great. Feel free to use them. If you don't have that many, you can always mix it up. You can look up various mixing routines. So obviously red and yellow, that'll make orange. Yellow and blue, that'll make green. All sorts of different colors. Red and blue makes purple. I love purple. Okay, so once you've got all your paints ready, and I think it's really important to decide first what order you're gonna do them in. Doesn't have to stick to the routine of the song. You can put it in whatever order you like. And I've decided I'm going to stick with a piece of paper and I'm not going to use a paintbrush. You can use a paintbrush, you can use whatever you like. Um, I just thought it'd be a bit more interesting for me if I don't use a paintbrush for once. So I'm putting that aside. I'm actually going to use something that most of you should have at home, which is a kitchen sponge just a normal sponge. And what we're going to do is we're going to layer the paint onto the sponge and then wipe it across the surface of our picture. So I'll prep that and I will show you in one sec. Okay guys, so I've layered my paint onto my sponge, which I will show you now, if you can see that. Um, so I've done it in, as you can see, red, yellow, green, blue, purple, that order. You can do it whatever order you want. You can even repeat colours. That might be really fun, actually. Get a whole mix of colours going on. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you, and try and do this for you. It's a bit tricky at this angle. But I'm going to rub it across the surface, just like I just did. But I'll do it on the table so I don't get paint all over the floor. So. So as you can see, my sponge has been used and it's made a bit of a mess, but that's fine. And then, big reveal guys, my lovely wiped painted rainbow. I actually really like this. I think it's really fun. And if you want, you can go over it more times. You can always let it dry and draw into it or do more layers. Um, I think, we're obviously doing the Wizard of Oz, so it could be really fun if you perhaps drew a little um, bunch of birds flying over it. I think that'd be lovely. Um, but absolutely, anything goes. Do whatever you want to do. And make sure you send us the pictures, because we are dying to see what you're doing. It's so exciting to have you guys involved with this. So please stay in touch. Okay, still using the paint on the sponge. I'm going to make a bit of a mess now, which I love doing, and I'm sure some of you do too. Um, what I've decided to do is, having already put the paint on here and used it on the brushed over piece of paper, I'm going to actually use my hand to make a rainbow. Yes, my hand is going to be the paintbrush. This is gonna be fun. So, we're going to apply paint to our hand using the sponge and I'll do this if I can in a way that you can see it. 
All right. So we've got all those colors going on there. How cool is that? Already it looks great, doesn't it? So from there, I'm going to print using my hand onto the paper like this. Yeah, cool. I'll give that a go. And I'm just doing it repeatedly in a sort of semicircle shape. I'll show you in a minute. So, ooh, that's what I've come up with. I like it. I think I'm going to do more to it. Um, it definitely needs more reds and yellows, doesn't it? Yeah, I think you're right. So I'm going to carry on with that and I will show you a picture once I'm done. So guys, grand reveal. I have made quite a mess, but I have gone and washed my hands. So remember to do that anyway. But yeah, I've added more reds and yellows and a bit more purple, because again, I love purple. So here we go. It's looking pretty good. And again, feel free to add some birds or whatever you want. Maybe a little flying house or even a witch. We'll come to that next time. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think you can always cut it out, you can add buttons, you can get doing things like that, um, draw on it, stick stuff to it, all sorts. Cut it out, put it in the window, you could always hang it up, that would be nice. Um, and also, don't have to use paper, use card, you can use all sorts. Um, I find if you have any plastic, leftover from food packaging or anything that could be really cool because obviously the sunlight can shine through it so it will love give absolutely beautiful colors in your house as well so give it a go so i'm sure some of you will be struggling to find paint at the moment so don't worry there's still plenty of ways you can be making rainbows if you don't have any paint so one thing i did which i will show you a picture of in just a second is I made a collage so instead of using paint as my color I used lots of bits of paper I colored in pieces of paper with pencils I also used buttons and bits of string that I found around the house you can use old food wrappers you can use absolutely anything you can find and it's really really great to have a mix of different materials because the textures you'll create when doing it will be so much more fun. So I'll show you a picture of that now. So finally, I know there will be several of you that aren't able to find paint or anything to cut up and stick down. You may not have glue. You may not have any pens or paper which is absolutely fine. You can still be involved. You can still send in pictures of rainbows. Maybe you've seen one, that'd be amazing. Send us an actual picture of a rainbow. But there is another option. What you can do is you can find old clothes, you can find shoes, you can find tin cans. Just take a picture of different colors. Always, You could always arrange various objects into the shape of a rainbow, take a photo of that, that would be lovely. Um, I think there's so many options to this, just get creative, think outside the box, and remember nothing is off limits, just don't cut up someone else's t-shirt without asking, okay? Um, so yeah, if you can't find anything to cut up and glue down, take a look around the house you will find stuff to photograph. There's so many different colored objects around, especially in the kitchen, a lot in the kitchen. Um, yeah, and any color alone is also lovely. So I would get out there around your home <laughs> and get hunting for everything that's bright because we need bright colors right now. That would be lovely. So yeah, it's been lovely spending a little bit of time with you guys. Don't forget to send us your pictures and videos of what you get up to. And of course, keep safe, keep washing your hands. 
Remember, we'll be uploading a new video on Monday and Wednesday at half past one every week. Okay? So, I can't wait to see what you come up with. It's been lovely. Bye for now.